Um, it is restrictive in some capacity, but ultimately the quiet period means that a college coach cannot have face-to-face -face contact with college-bound student athletes off college campus. Um, so they can't go see them watch or compete at a high school game. Um, those coaches can't talk to those athletes at those competitions. However, you can talk to a college coach in person on their campus. And that's the big difference that we're talking about with an NCAA quiet period, uh, that there still can be face-to-face -face contact uh, as long as basically you're on that coach's campus. Any other circumstances, not allowed for those coaches to talk to you. So a little bit different than a dead period, still restrictive, uh, but it is, is part of the process that coaches have to respect or they're going to find themselves in violation uh, of the NCAA recruiting rules and regulations. So, um, Phil, we're throwing a lot of jargon around, right? Dead periods, quiet periods, contact periods, valuation periods, all of it's valid. And these are things that our families absolutely need to understand where they are in the recruiting process so they know how to best plan for themselves, get out ahead of this, or simply not panic when they're not hearing from a college coach.